Sueys, the voice for our Sueys is Greg Cody. Why? We didn't want to ask Hank to do it. We didn't want to, we didn't want to do the work required to frame this better than Greg Cody would. Well, before there was Greg Cody's holdout, there was Poppy's holdout, Dan. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Go ahead. Let's go to worst mistake. And now the Suey nominees for worst mistake made on the show. Stugatz thinks Alfonso Ribeiro is Larry Fitzgerald. Just oh, I think Larry Fitzgerald's on the green right there. Hold no, on, Dan. No, that, that, that's Ooh. Alfonso Ribeiro. Oh. <laughs> now, how do you what? think that Larry Fitzgerald <laughs> is? The son. The son. The son. The son. <laughs> oh, the son. To be fair. Okay, yeah, yeah. To be fair. All right, whatever. Oh. Alfonso Ribeiro has a great ass. <laughs> Chris Cody can't find the name David Fisdale. Shane Battier's gone and Dwayne Wade goes. I'm not sure what's going on with the culture. Sinking ship. They realize Riley, I mean, Spoh's never leaving. You know, I feel like what's his name had a oh, <laughs> good exactly. start. Yeah. Keep going. Start. Just keep good. Yeah, no, keep no, 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 bite no. through it. No, yeah. let's just end the segment Fizzdale. right there. Mike Ryan's chubby checker mistake. Yes, you can't talk about double digit national titles when every single call of you winning the national title sounds like this. Oh, there's there's Chubby Jacker running down the sideline. If, if the audio. Yeah, That's no, not yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. And there's a World War II veteran pitching into another white guy and he avoids another white guy. Oh, my God. Notre Dame, the fighting Irish have done it again for the eighth time. Only paying white people. Without nope. Notre Dame football, without Newt Rockney, we would not even have the modern era of college football. Newt is so, the problem. Chubby be checker. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. He's black. He's black. And I was really like, what's a white name? Chubby checker. I think I'm black. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's, I'm improv in here. It's a pretty cool riff. He spells it differently. All right. His name is Chubby. Maybe you didn't hear me correctly. His name is Chubby Checkers. There's an S at the end. I feel like that should be the largest of five. Yeah, Chubby. Yeah, it's Chubby Checkers. It sounds like a college football name. Greg Cody reacts to one of his terrible golf shots in Lake Tahoe. I'm going to get some golf ASMR. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Sugat reads the internet wrong and thinks Todd Gurley is going to the Ravens. During your enlightened conversation, I got a text from Sugat that said, Todd Gurley, Ravens. <laughs> to which we all had to search for what he meant because there's no report saying that Todd Gurley signed with the Ravens. He was just texting me about a visit Todd Gurley is presently having with the Baltimore Ravens. According to Adam Schefter, I think they, uh, I think it's a one year deal now, Mike. So he gets a chance to prove wow. himself again, right? It's a big deal. My Todd Gurley oh, yeah, to the one Ravens. Year prove it. I yeah. love a one year, a one year prove, it. prove it deal. Yeah. Update. Even though Sugat just cited an Adam Schefter tweet, there is no such tweet. We are still scrambling to confirm what Sugat meant by $5. Todd Gurley Ravens. $5. Uh, for it's, reading it's the, out there, Mike. Five dollars for reading the internet wrong. It's just so he he says it was Adam Schefter. So I look at Adam Schefter's Twitter account, couldn't find anything, and so Jess went and tracked down the tweet. Mm -hmm. Here are the red flags on this account: one, the handle Spots Centra, like the Canadian Sports Center, but not Spot, Sports Spots. Spots There's, Centra. But you that, realize you can read that very, very quickly and think it's, you know, it's... Mistake number one. <laughs> mistake number two. There was no check mark. It was that thing that people do to try and fool people of the white circle that kind of looks like the check mark, but is not. Sign number three. The avatar... It's the Sports Center logo, but in fairly sizable print above it is the word not... <laughs> not a sports center. There are three signs. Also, Tony pointed out a fourth, which is that the picture used of Todd Gurley is him in a Rams uniform when he was just in a Falcons uniform. All the red flags, and yet Stu Gatz is still going. Todd Gurley, Ravens, buddy. Jeff D. <laughs> Carl Douglas turns Deshaun Watson into a mustard. Dijon Watson. George St. Pierre struggles with Zoom. You, you guys see me, it's okay, but, but yes. I don't... I Up with the Zoom, or is it just you want to go ahead and do it without seeing us, or would you like some help? I, I'm on Zoom right now, actually. Yeah, what do you nice. see? What do you see? It's oh, Now I see you, because uh -huh. I think your camera was not on. You, 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 your camera was off. Not, now I see you. Uh, George, I love... This is going to be the podcast. It Swipe right on uh, on the phone. And you'll see different views. There's like a gallery mode you can switch to. Yeah. George, you're only oh, 30, yeah, there 30, we go. You're 39 yeah, yeah. years old. Sorry, guys, George, oh, George, look George, at that. George, ah, you're I too mean, young for I, I, this. I'm very bad with technology. I, I'm sorry, guys. Greg Cody struggles with Zoom. 
Cody, how did this article do? Did you get a lot of your beloved clicks? Were you sla slathering your nipples in clicks? Well, You're muted, Greg. Uh, You're still muted, ah! Greg. Yeah, I, um... <laughs> Uh, Greg, oh, wow. Greg, 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 she said that you that you had bubble wrap and they offered for you not to have to walk out with it, but you're like, no, I've got a party bone in my body. Oh, he's muted. You're again. muted again. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Oh. Pat Riley calls Amino Hassan Amino Hassan <laughs> during Freedom. Amino Hassan. <laughs> okay, Amino Hassan. Good luck to you guys. Okay? <laughs> you See you later, Pat. <laughs> Stugatz introduces Marty Fish as Marty Smith on Stupidity. All right, my friend Marty Smith is with us here on Stupidity. I want to bring start up over. My last name is not Smith. Oh my God! I just <laughs> what is it? Stupidity. Keep it in. Marty Fish, my friend Marty Smith. <laughs> Marty Party. Billy Gill tries to say mall walkers. By the way, Walmart wall. Mall walkers. <laughs> what happened Whoa, there? Walmart's That's a real <laughs> going to Walmart. <laughs> That's That's a real Walmart. Thing. Mall walkers is a real thing. Stugatz thinks Texans head coach David Cully is white on stupidity. <laughs> what the f are the Texans doing? They lose Hopkins, Watson, and then they, in an attempt to try to uh, impress Deshaun Watson and keep him, they hire a 65 year old white head coach who's never coached before the NFL. What, who is running that organization? Stugatz clearly isn't listening to Dan. Listen, it could be Julius Randle's building. How about that? <laughs> the Mecca. Or it's Julius. The Mecca. <laughs> Steve Martin was a prop comic. Uh, you said that? I said it two seconds earlier than you. Stu Gotts doesn't understand what double up means. Ravens could <laughs> double up the Colts, and they are good against every team except the Steelers. <laughs> I mean... That's a 14-point win there for the Ravens. Yeah, yeah. Um, double up, two touchdowns. I think double up is a score. Like, if the oh. Colts have 10 and you double them up, you score 20. Oh, I don't think okay. double That's up. That's how you do it. I, I do it differently. Okay, but yeah. I don't yeah. think that double them up. Like, you explained it to me as you if I was supposed way, to. I have my way. I understand, yeah. but that's not technically doubling up. Yeah. Like, I think you used the phrase wrong or something happened. Double there. up plus four. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's what he meant, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. um, Two touchdowns. You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> he's amazing. He really is. He's just, he's, he's breathtaking in his stupidity. Chris Cody screws up the classic movie line from A Few Good Men. What about A Few Good Men, <laughs> Cody? Do you know what that is? Yes. Do you, do you know who directed that? Oh, no. I just know. Isn't that the word? He's like, I, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's the line. I, you can't handle the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was I couldn't, and I was like, yeah, you can't. Three. Yeah. Dan Levitar doesn't know the rules in women's college basketball. <laughs> Whenever you see UConn playing in the NCAA tournament, they've made 12 consecutive Final Fours going for their 13th, and they're being pushed. And I saw the score, and Baylor was pushing them. They were up in the third quarter, and so I switched Second over. half. Well, third quarter. Oh, no, they, they play both? four quarters, yes. Uh, listen, I watch women's college basketball, damn, okay? They play four quarters. They change the rules. How yes. about that? Did they do that? I'm yes. sorry. I, I'm sorry, Stugatz, to have questioned. What? For getting it wrong? I just assumed yeah, that it was two halves. It's yeah. a major fun, yeah. The pomposity yeah. of it. Mike Ryan's sex and the city mistake. They would try to uh, bring in some minority characters, and you could... Yeah, they tried. <laughs> Louis Aguirre was one of Louis them. They, they tried to dabble in Latin flavor, Listen, and they Maurice, went and got... Maurice Chestnut was one. I think. Morris. Oh, Morris Chestnut, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, God, what a beefcake in that show. Oh. Miranda, why didn't you stay with him? I mean, we're going to go with Steve on this one, seriously? Five minutes later. Oh, no. I <laughs> what, up. Uh-oh. What happened? I have to clear out i have to issue an apology uh oh oh no oh no is it a sex in the city apology i would like to formally apologize to blair underwood for calling him morris chestnut oh no <sighs> wow look la law man come on yo i feel like they were in a movie together and that's what I was doing. Oh, I think you just need to apologize and not explain. You're probably I think, right. I think I don't think that you should go with. Can we put this on the? Don't put it on the poll. Stu Gutz can't talk during the Bob Costas interview. Right now, in the Hall of Fame, he's that in that uh, uh, Allen Iverson room. Bob. <laughs> Dan Levitard gets drunk on the air and can't talk. I'm trying to give our <laughs> listeners a drunken a drunken inner look. 
And this isn't just a pirate ship. Uh, pirate ship in pirate, <laughs> pirate, pirate ship. Pirate Let's ship. Pirate ship. Let's get to this story. Chris Cody dabs during a serious Black Panther conversation. <laughs> Samson was talking yes. about the Black Panthers. There was some dangerous subject matter, and you, Ophi and Thick. <laughs> Wearing a shirt with your name on it, becoming your dad a little more every day. You not only dabbed once or twice, you dabbed like seven times. What the bleep were you doing, Chris, other than getting in the way of the show? That's on me. Now, one thing I've learned about Twitch is that you're supposed to engage with the audience. And that's what I was doing. I'm watching. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, people have been, people are telling me to, to dab, so you I thought I'd dab. Be, it didn't dawn on me. How about you listen to the show? Who else would be on, Ooh, by the way? Honest to God. Dan Levitard can't talk. We were talking uh, to and about uh, Freddie Gibbs. We were talking about the possibility of Freddie Gibbs uh, having, actually having the rap album of the year. Uh, at which point Chris Cody, who is too young for this and doesn't know, like, athletes from the 90s, right. Chris Cody you okay? says, uh, is that one of, uh, is that Barry Gibbs? Is he, uh, <laughs> it, and so then the D, uh, the BG, BGs start playing. Right. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a struggle. A little bit rusty here. Stugatz doesn't know what valedictorian and salutatorian mean. <laughs> the best graduating senior. <laughs> valedictorian. Billy, how do you feel? Thank you, Roy. That's a tough one for Stugatz. Well, yeah. no, that's up. No, listen, that is up to Jim Nance, okay? Yeah. Jim Nance decides who's the most valuable senior, okay? No one else. You're going to do sausage fingers at me with a pivot <laughs> as if that's what you were trying to do there and not that you MBS. couldn't find. You I mean, couldn't find. What is, this, what is second place? Do you know what second place is for a graduating high school senior if you don't get... Well, do you know what first place is? Do you, even though we, I think we just mentioned it, and I don't think. Uh, first place, MVS, yep, most valuable senior. <laughs> That's first. What's your first place? But do you know what it is to finish in second place? What it's called? runner up, first loser, <laughs> silver medal. I mean, <laughs> the best graduating senior is the valedictorian. Ah, the so, VV. Why what? VV? I don't know. Is that how you spell it? You think it starts with two V's? <laughs> Silent V at the beginning. Oh, is that what? Yeah, of course. Everyone knows that. What do you mean the V? No, you're Val Victoria. What, 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 what? Oh, he thinks it's Val Victoria. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> oh, not. No. Oh, I can't oh. believe it. Because they won first place, Victoria. I mean, I spent my whole life thinking that. It's crazy. Why are you saluting I'm him? Trying to give him He's trying hint. to give him the context clue. <laughs> right. Figure it out. I'm doing what I can. All I don't right. want to figure it out. I'm happy not figuring it out. Keep giving him pantomime clues. See <laughs> that's, what he that's all see, I got. see what he thinks. Soldier? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Lieutenant? <laughs> He's saluting. Now it's charades. Now <laughs> charades really works well on podcasts. Charades on audio. <laughs> We're revolutionizing. Here come oh, the cops. Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the end of the content streaming age. We have nothing else He's to got do. The inhaler. We're going to do audio that is us playing charades. Yes, salutes to guys. Yes, now keep going. What's it called? Second place when you graduate. Uh, solutions. <laughs> Not map. <laughs> Salutation. Close? <laughs> Getting there. Starts oh. with a salu. 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 I don't really know. I mean, I really don't. I mean, who pays attention to these things? <laughs> Billy screws up saying the word broadcaster, and Ian Eagle buries him. <laughs> People were speculating last week that your name was actually Ian Eagle and that you switched it around and you became a broadcaster, but I'm glad yeah. that you cleared that up. Now, after the success of Iron Eagle and Iron Eagle 2, did you ever consider naming your son Ian Eagle 2? We did. Uh, Billy, <laughs> first of all, my dream was to become a broadcaster. <laughs> oh, he got you. No. Yes. 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 That's the yes. way you do it. Yes. That's how you do it, Bird. <laughs> Tony's loving it. Wow. Bring him up. That was my goal. When my when my parents said, what do you want to do? And I was young. I was seven years old. I said, Mom, Dad, I have this dream. I don't know if I can attain it, but one day, if I could just be a professional broadcaster. <laughs> they said, well, here's the issue, Ian. 
it's broadcaster. Oh, I, he's dead and buried. <laughs> come on, come man. on, come on. I said, what's the difference between broadcasting and Whoa. broadcasting? <laughs> Six feet under and already. At that point, Billy, I knew that I had to make changes in my life. <laughs> 